okay so in this video what we are going to do is that that we are going to update our os and then we'll be installing a couple of packages and then we'll be installing automatic updates also in this video itself so firstly what i'll do i'll simply ssh into my remote machine so by doing ssh root at my ip address so let's simply press enter and let me ssh here and let me clear out the console so to update the packages here what i'm going to use i'm going to use a package manager here which is built inside centos 8 and that is called dnf so if you were using uh, centos 7 or something previously then the yum was the package manager and if you were using ubuntu or something else then in ubuntu i guess that apt-get is the package manager or apt was the package manager in previous versions of ubuntu but here inside centos 8 dnf is the package manager and it is called dandified yum so now let me simply do dnf update hyphen y just to make it silent update and now it will take a couple of minutes and it will really take some time to install and update the packages so what you can do you can sit back and relax and have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or some beer if you like okay so it really took some time but finally it's complete and now what i'm going to do i'm going to install a couple of packages or utility packages here so i'll do dnf install curl vim get widget and this is not pronounced as wget it is called widget and then i want to install development tools and it is like at development tools uh, like this and then i want to install nmap and then i also want to install net hyphen tools now again it would uh, take some time and to complete it silently what you can do you can simply provide in hyphen y here to install the packages silently so let's simply press enter and again it would take some time so finally it's complete so now let me install apple release and basically this apple release means or basically this apple means extra packages for enterprise linux so let me install that also so dnf install apple release like this and now let me press enter and it would take not more than a couple of minutes and for this i didn't pass in hyphen y so it is ask, asking me this is this okay so i'll simply press y and enter and it will install it and finally what i need to do let me clear out the console first and finally what i need to do i need to simply do dnf upgrade to get the latest packages or whatever packages we are going to install from now onwards and now what i'm going to install i'm going to install one thing here that is called snapd and basically that is another package manager like dnf but it is like uh, it can be used on any uh, linux version so let me go to this site here so this is what i'm talking about it is called snapcraft and why i'm installing snapcraft is because there are two reasons here that is one we need to install node.js using snapcraft and that is an optional thing we can use uh, we can also use gnf to install node.js and secondly uh, whenever when we are going to install ssl certificate for our nginx server then certbot recommends to use a snapcraft that is a snapd to install certbot and it would be way easier to install certbot using snapd so that is why i'm installing this a snapcraft thing so let's go back to our terminal here and now to install snapcraft what we need to do we need to simply say dnf install snapd hyphen y to install it silently and if you want to know how to install snapcraft you can go to this link here let me see that where it is so if i go to this docs thing here maybe there i can see how to install uh, this snapcraft so let's click on this quick start and install, install snapd and then uh, maybe somewhere here or maybe uh, let me see where is the installation thing of this snapcraft or maybe so here it is maybe that is uh, centos thing and now installing snap uh, on centos you can follow the instructions here so it says that we needed to add the apple repo which we already did and therefore we already we and therefore we can install snapcraft using apple release and uh, maybe uh, here we can see that what all things we need to do to install snapd so this we already did and basically we are using dnf instead of vm and now what we need to do we need to simply copy this command here that is systemctl enable now snapd.socket so let me copy it in my clipboard 
and uh, let's go to our terminal here so we see that the installation is complete and now let me clear out the console and let me paste that command that i copied from this page here that is this command so let me simply press enter here and uh, now we see that a sim link has been created so this is done and now the last thing which we need to do we need to enable the classic snap support so what we need to do we need to simply copy this command from here and let's go back to our terminal and let me paste that command and basically this links all the snaps that are installed in this folder that is var lib snap d snap to only forward slash snap so this is the thing which this command is and now snapd is installed so i can verify it by doing in snapd hyphen v or snap hyphen v maybe i don't know or or it is like snap v or snap hyphen hyphen version maybe i do not know so yep so it is snap hyphen hyphen version and we can see that snap is also installed snapd is installed and so on and so forth so now let me clear up the console here and now what i'm going to do i'm going to install here that is automatic updates for our os so for that i'm going to install uh, dnf automatic so i'll do dnf install dnf hyphen automatic and again i put in the hyphen y flag to install it silently so let me install it and it would take a couple of seconds or so so now it's complete and now we need to enable this uh, automatic uh, updates so to enable automatic updates let me first clear out the console i'll say systemctl enable now dnf automatic dot timer simply like this so basically it uses timers to update the os and it doesn't use a cron job here and we see that a sim link has been created and now to verify that if automatic timers has been enabled or not what we can do we can simply do system ctl list timers like this and we see that uh, maybe uh, somewhere here is the timer or let me uh, control c or let, let me simply press control q and now maybe i can do it like this so that is dnf hyphen uh, this thing and maybe this would list in the timer here and we see that this is the timer here so let me minimize the font size here uh, maybe then oh, we can see that the timer is there or not so we see that uh, when uh, we, we have this timer here that is dnf automatic dot timer and it is our dnf automatic dot service here so let me quit and now let me list all the timers here and now we can see that we have this automatic timer here so we are sure that our os would be automatically updated and we do not have to manually update the os so now let me simply press q here to quit and now let me clear up the console so guys that's all about this video and a lot of installations here and in the next video we'll see that how do we set up a sudo user with the root privileges so that's what we are going to do in the very next video